Um, maybe we'll start with physically. How are you feeling right now? Uh, it's pretty good. You know, just came in here and got got a nice uh, team win. So I, mean, I feel pretty good. Um, my knee, I mean, my knees like a little bit swollen, but the uh, doctor on the sideline, he was like tugging on it. He said there's no, I mean, no ACL. ACL's fine. Um, so we'll see what it is. It's a little swollen, but I mean, I was still able to finish the last you know, quarter and a half. Um, just got like a little bit twisted up, but I mean, outside of that. Yeah. I think it should be fine. And good thing next week's a bye week. You just rest and ice up. Did you see briefly? Can you tell what happened on that? Which one? I kind of like uh, he cut back. I mean, I thought it was a cut back, so I stopped. And I mean, he just kind of like got stuck in the turf. I mean, we aren't used to playing on turf every day. Um, so I'm just a little slight jolt, but um, I don't know. Nothing too bad, I don't think. And just that drive that was fun enough to feel. How did that feel? Yeah, I mean, I felt, I felt good. Uh, I don't know if it was just adrenaline or, I don't know. Um, I felt really good, and I knew, you know, no matter how I was feeling, I had to finish the game out for my team. You know, I mean, I mean there's no personal agendas out here, um, which is all about this team. And um, making when Coach Rick's first away game really good, really solid win. Just making a statement. I know that one of the things Manny said this week was that defense offense, Miami hasn't taken a punch yet. Yeah. If they get within 10, you're hobbled. How do you, you know? How would you describe the way Miami took the punch today? Um, I think we took it as good as anyone could have taken it. Um, you know, in years past, I think when stuff like that would happen, we kind of closed in, fold a little bit, and you know, guys would point fingers and go back and forth. But you know, the, you know, the uh, defense just went back out there. Um, they played hard, and then the minute that we got the ball back, we knew that we needed to score immediately. You know, I think some guys stepped up. You know, Lamont had a drop ball, and after that, I think he you know, he told me, "Hey, just throw the ball." Hey. I'm, that kind of like, I guess, um, lit a fire, you know, and he just said, hey, from the ball, and he made some good plays down the field for us. And that second round of the game, um, is that up to you to, to call those passes? Just how did that kind of develop with you going know, five for five to start that drive? Um, yeah, uh, seeing that drive, I, I mean, the, the philosophy for this week was just, you know, go fast and see how, just see how fast we can go as an offense, um, just see how fast we can get set, get plays called. Um, I think they were, you know, I don't know what they, exactly they were trying to do on, on defense. Um, it kind of took them a while to get lined up, and Coach Rick saw that. And one of his big things is when you know the teams try to you know, switch guys on the field, or maybe they're trying trying to get our signals down or something like that. Just call plays fast, where you know, they have certain plays where it's just one word, and, and, and the whole offense can get lined up and um, just get a play run pretty fast when they're standing up. Or there's D linemen coming off the field, there's linebackers standing up to get the call. Um, just getting plays rep, kind of gas teams like that, and try to wait for you to. Um, make your call and then adjust. Yeah, you got him once with a 12 man. It looked like maybe you could have got him a couple more times. Is that what you said? Yeah, definitely. You know, Coach Rick just always tries to key it. I mean, that's something that he's always done. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure John up in the box and all the coaches up in the box key that too. Um, you know, some teams like to just leave, you know, leave guys out there and other teams like to rotate, whether it be D linemen, linebackers. Um, so when Coach sees that, um, he just tries to get plays repped and you know, good plays that, that can either draw a penalty or, or gash them when they're middle of a transition. Mark Waltz had another big game today. What's the biggest difference you see in him this year maybe compared to last? Um, see, uh, he, he's had less touchdowns get called back. So <laughs> I hope we're, we're a lot more disciplined. And that's helping him out a lot. Um, he just has that, uh, I don't know, just has that almost like a newfound mentality. He just kind of has that uh, his killer instinct. I mean, you can see I saw the first play. I handed it off and I saw him I'm saying, oh, oh boy, there's a linebacker in the hole. And I see him break the tackle. And I put my hands up like almost immediately. I'm saying, oh my God, touchdown. Like, like I mean, the red seat is parted and he just hit it. Um, so just his mentality has changed. You know, and, and of course, he's a lot more mature. You know, he's a year older. Um, I think what people don't realize or maybe have forgotten about was that he, you know, last, he skipped a year of high school to be here with us. Um, last, his, uh, his, his freshman year of college. So his freshman year of college, he should have still been in high school. Um, so yeah, just just more just more maturity. Brad, how important is it that you guys have this week off? Yeah, it's huge for us. You know, a couple guys are banged up. Um, we'll get AC, we'll get uh, AC back. From his, uh, his his knee injury. Hopefully, get Cortell back. I'm sure Molden will get uh, healed up. Um, I think DJ kind of had some some small little knee thing, but um, just just to get guys healed up. Um, I know tomorrow's off. Which is huge for us. We just chill out. Um, really, just to refocus, whether it be mentally, physically. Um, I mean, next week should be a good week for that. I mean, I've been looking forward to a week off, just to just chill and decompress. You know, 
I go over to the rat and have a beer with Marquez. I don't know. I'll be on the 21 now. So, I don't know. I mean, playing playing quarterback here is pretty stressful. So I might, I might have to the rat maybe one day. Maybe Monday. Don't have Marquez. Have with my son because he's not 21. I got you. Brad, how about, how about Stacy? Two touchdowns, I think, today. How good was it? Kind of good. Yes. Yeah, um, you know, all week long, you know, me and the receivers just talked over, and me and Stacy especially, just how uh, you know last week was not a good representation of what our offense should look like, what our passing game should look like. Um, we felt that we could come out here and make a statement um, through the air, and I think we did. Um, I just told Stacy, "Hey, get ready, get ready all day, because I'm coming to you on first third down," and um, that, that ended up happening um, a couple times today. And uh, yeah, just, just seeing Stacy be able to go like that, and hopefully the, the, there's a lot more of that to come. And hopefully we can get. Spread the you know, spread the ball around a lot more. You know, get I mean, Mon got really involved today. Um, get they all some love. Get Braxton some more touches and knock them. Um, I mean, Braxton made a phenomenal catch, but just just to you know, just spread the ball around and just uh, you know, I guess make it run better. Brad, when you guys saw App State, what they did to Tennessee, you know, did that kind of get you guys' attention? To make sure. You know, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think seeing you know what they did to Tennessee. I mean, I was hoping that they that they beat Tennessee. Um, just to see that. You know, week one, I think it, it kind of sent a message to our guys that we had to really come with our A game and really prepare um, coming into this week. Because um, you know, in years past, you know, we'd see certain teams and you know, certain teams on film might say, "Oh, they're getting blown out by Clemson," or "These guys are getting blown out by Georgia today." So stuff like that. Um, you know, with playing teams that, that aren't in the Power Five conference. Um, so just seeing that on film, seeing that, I mean, a lot of us watched that game um, on TV that night, and um, just to see that, I think it really got. You know, all sides of the ball really focused, and it kind of sent a message like, "Hey, these guys are legit. This is a legit team." Um, and they, I mean, they, they play hard, and they aren't going to quit just like today. I mean, they didn't quit, didn't lie down. You know, throw, throw a pick, and they're right back in the game. So, yeah. Have you cool. had a chance to watch the catch, Braxton's catch yet, by any chance on your phone? I saw. I mean, I saw him on the field. I think a little bit. Um, it was an awesome catch. You know, I saw him do it all spring. Hopefully, we can get more of those, and hopefully, I'm out for the ball as far. Out, you know. Out of the way, I mean, um, you know, he made me look really good in that play, honestly. Um, just a really acrobatic catch, and hopefully uh, we can get practice some more touches and get him in balance where he can, he can make you know, make guys miss and use his uh, loosening. Do you feel like you guys have, you know, from game one to game two to game three, made the kind of progress you were hoping to? It's, it's, yeah. it's like a little step ladder every way. I, I think the, the, you know, the part where I see more the most progress is just our focus. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, Go through summer, took summertime. Go through you know, fall camp, and there's usually a period after fall camp when guys kind of get a little bit more relaxed and less tense. When they might get like a couple of days off and just chill, and um, you know. But I, I think you know, in this week, I've really seen guys just get their focus up a lot more compared to what we had week one. You know, we won FAMU. You know, of course, you know, we, we treated them seriously, but at the same time, you know, a lot of guys were, were more able to relax. And I, I think I saw some guys even, even last week. I mean. I would put it on myself. I think we just came to last week a little bit too, uh, um, I don't know, just too relaxed in general. Um, and then this week, I think our focus really picked up. And guys um, guys realized that, hey, just because we're Miami, people are going to lay down for us. FAU didn't lay down the first half last last week. And you know, sure, I mean, Appalachian State sure as hell wasn't going to lay down for us either. Um, yeah. All right, last question, guys. All right, good. Nice. Good. Last one. All right. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>